So the last part of our discussion is the criminal justice system. There are two very important parts of the criminal justice system. The first is the police. The police are responsible for enforcing the law and guilt or innocence is determined by the courts. Now the four justifications for punishment are as follows. Retribution means moral vengeance. Uh, that means that the state will bring charges against or will charge someone with a crime and then prosecute them on behalf of the victim so that the victim or the victim's family doesn't feel that they need to take the law into their own hands. So if I was con convicted of a crime, let's say I was indicted for a crime and I went to trial, the case would read the state of Michigan versus Cheryl Neely, not Jane Doe versus Cheryl Neely because the state is bringing criminal charges against me on behalf of the victim. Secondly, deterrence. To discourage criminality in others, you try to make the punishment so severe that a person would think twice before they break the law. So a would-be criminal, for instance, wouldn't kill if you had the death penalty in the state. Well, the fact of the matter is, there are states like Texas, Alabama, Mississippi, Florida, Georgia, they all have capital punishment and they still have an issue with murder. So criminologists don't believe that capital punishment or lethal injection will be enough to deter someone from committing the act of murder. But the reason why we make punishment so severe is to discourage criminality. Now third, rehabilitation, reforming the offender. Reforming the offender by offering uh, education behind bars, individual and group counseling, perhaps um, you give them job training. This happens in juvenile, uh, the juvenile criminal justice system more than it does adults, because increasingly the United States has moved towards a tough on crime uh, stance. So we no longer offer rehabilitation to adult offenders. And finally, societal protection. The reason why you would incarcerate someone for life or you would execute them is to protect society from that specific individual. So Ted Bundy, for instance, responsible for the murders of at least 36 women, he was executed in 1989. The only way Ted Bundy is going to kill anybody is if he comes back as part of the cast of The Walking Dead, because dead is dead. I hope this uh, lecture series with video or the PowerPoints with the inserted video has helped this um, lecture become a little bit clearer to you. I hope everybody's staying safe, wash your hands, avoid crowds, sanitize, stay safe, and stay calm. Hopefully, I'll get to see you guys soon. Bye-bye.